So you're walking through the park with your pizza. And that's when you see that girl. But there's a problem. She's attracted some other attention. Yeah, go ahead. He just knows more math than you. And either way, today just doesn't seem to be your day. <coughs> Luckily, you can use your own bit of maths called Gauss's Remarkable Theorem to save the day. There's quite a few complex steps to find in the Gaussian curvature of a surface, but simplifying them would look something like this. Trace a path around the two most concave and convex paths of the object. These are known as the principal curvatures. Convex curves are negative, and concave curves are positive. If you try this with a cylinder, choosing to start right here, you would trace a circular path around the object as the most convex path, and a straight line up and down as the most concave path. However, since the curve of a straight line is obviously zero, the new overall Gaussian curvature will also be zero. That means that technically, a cylinder is flat. It sounds crazy, but if you grab a flat piece of paper and start to roll it up, you'll get a cylinder. So how does this affect a pizza? Well, when a pizza slice is sitting on the plate, it's flat. Now we know that if an object is flat, some part of it always needs to stay flat. If it didn't, then you'd have two positive or negative curves, which wouldn't multiply to zero. So when you lift a pizza by the crust, it stays flat crustways, but gravity naturally curves the tip down. However, using a bit of maths, you know how to change the flat principal curve so it went in a different direction. So what else could you do to make yourself look a little bit more impressive? Remember how you wanted to give her that footy and wrap it up as a present? Unfortunately, kid, it's gonna be a waste of time. The Gaussian curvature of the pizza slice never changes from zero because a key part of Gauss's remarkable theorem is that Gaussian curvature is an intrinsic property, meaning that it only depends on how the surface of the object changes. In other words, no matter how you roll or fold that piece of paper we were talking about, the Gaussian curvature is going to stay the same. Unless, of course, the initial form of the object is changed somehow. That means no tearing or stretching. The flat shape will always retain some element of its flatness so that the Gaussian curvature will equal zero. And the only way to change this is to change its dimensions. Let's go see how our friend's doing. <laughs> Chill out man, there's a few more things that could help us. Wait, I think I've got an idea. You try to steal my girl? I'll crush you like an egg. I'd like to see you try. Can't do it. Are you serious? That's what I thought. You do it then. Oh damn. And now for my final trick. How did you do that? Just a little bit of math. So, do you want some pizza?